At the top is the, the families that have a wounded warrior. That's the very top priority um, in that priority one. All of these that I'll talk about are all in the priority one system. So it's a 1A, 1B, 1C. Um, then the next priority, honestly, is CYS staff members. I mean, that's the Army's feeling is we need people to obviously work in these child care centers. So if we don't have that, it you know, really challenges our ability to provide enough spaces. So that, see if you're working for us, you also get the, one of the highest priorities. Next is single and dual military folks. So um, those again are the families that we're really wanting to make sure um, get in care and that's the, they're in the next level. And then following that it, and still in category one are those people that maybe one parent is in the military and the second one is a full-time full -time worker. So it could be a DOD civilian, it could be um, uh, you know, various other things, but they're both parents are working. And then after that, there's another priority that and two and three that talks about if it, someone's a full-time student. And then we also have opportunities for parents that maybe somebody is not working um, and either at, and staying at home and that's a space available. And there are times when we have enough space where we can get to that priority where this is, a, this is really something that they want to do and we get to that. And the, the caveat with that is um, we can offer those spaces to those families, but in the event someone comes in at a higher priority, particularly of a single or dual military, we would need to give notice to those families that, that someone has come in, we do have a wait list, and um, we're gonna have to use that spot uh, for this particular family.